Hello guys, welcome back to Ton of Things, but for today's video, we are going to show you or discuss for you Lenovo Legion R27 EQE best settings here. So, if you're interested, let's get started. So, in this case, you might be looking for the best settings here that you can use for your Lenovo Legion monitor. So, first things first, you want to connect this via the DisplayPort or HDMI. Now start using either a DisplayPort or HDMI cable here. DisplayPort is best if you're aiming for a full 2560 by 1440 resolution at 165Hz refresh rate. Now HDMI can also handle 1440p, but depending on your cable and graphics card, you might not get the full 165Hz here. Now, in this case, uh, what you need to do is you want to set the resolution and refresh rate as well. Now you want to go to Windows and you want to go to Display Settings and Advanced Settings. Uh, Display settings here and choose your resolution. Set this to 2560 by 1440, which is native. Refresh rate is around 165 hertz. Now, this makes your screen super sharp and gives you smooth performance for gaming or scrolling. Now, use the joystick or button located under the or behind the monitor to open the on screen display OSD. This is where you'll tweak brightness, contrast, color, and gaming settings. Now, in the OSD menu, look for the picture mode or preset modes. Now, standard is just good for DDUs. FPS, RTS, or racing is the L for different types of games. S, RGB, or custom, best for color, accuracy, or if you're editing photos or videos. And if you're not gaming heavily, standard or S, RGB will look the most natural. Now, for the brightness, contrast, and sharpness here, you want to set this around like 75 to 85 for brightness. You could go ahead and uh, set this a bit higher here if you have a well lit room. Now, for contrast, set this around like 70 to 80. Sharpness around 50. So, this is going to be default for you, but you can go high or lower uh, depending on your preference here. Now, again, you can adjust this settings depending on your environment, but this is a good uh, general starting point here. Now, also, you may want to turn on AMD FreeSync if it's actually supported. Now, if your graphics card actually supports AMD FreeSync here, turn it on in the monitor's gaming or display settings and also enable it in your GPU control panel, which is AMD Radeon or NVIDIA G-Sync compatible. This helps eliminate screen tearing and stuttering during gameplay. Now, for the response time here, you want to go to gaming or display and you want to go to override or, uh, slash or response time and choose fast or normal here. Now, fast gives you better response for gaming, but if you set you see ghosting or visual with art artifacts here, which uh, switches to normal for a bit of more balance. Now, in this case, if your motor has a black equalizer or dynamic contrast feature, use a black equalizer to brighten up your uh, dark areas in games without washing out the whole screen. Now, turn dynamic contrast off unless you're watching movies and want deeper blacks here. Now, also, you may want to, to adjust your color temperature here. So, for warm, in this case, you uh you want you want this you want to use this uh, for software on the eyes or good for uh, long sessions. Now, neutral or sRGB for in this case, this has the most high colors and cool is uh, has this light blue tint here. Sometimes preferred uh, preferred for gaming. Now, if you're doing anything color sensitive like editing, go so go with uh, sRGB or neutral here. Now, finally, you just need to save your profile here if you can. So some Lenovo monitors let you save your more uh, settings as a user profile here. So if, if your R27QE supports it, save your adjustment so you can switch between gaming and work modes without redoing everything. But in this case, that's about it. Hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to you end of the inspo. Thank you for watching.